when he wrote Freedom, and I don't mean Freedom 90, which is when I was managing him, I never really read the lyrics, but in the lyrics, you know, he said, I'm in the closet and I threw away the key. Now you're talking about whether he knew he was gay. How do you write a lyric like that without knowing you're gay? That's what it's about, isn't it? So, you know, there were, there were more than clues. There was an outright statement right there. Um, and he still took all that time to come to terms with himself. But I can understand why. I mean, I, I never pressured him to come out. And I, it seemed to me every good reason not to come out. He, he was part of a group which had a very heterosexual image. It was like Starsky and Hatch and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, a very attractive Hollywood two guys image. He knew it was going to end because Wham was going to have a definite life of two or three years. If you feel more comfortable in the closet, stay in the closet till you finish Wham, you know? If you'd like to come out, come out. I mean, I, I wouldn't advise him either way. But when Wham finished, I thought that was the moment he should come out, and he didn't. And then that became, that's when life got difficult for him.